All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here, and today we're training triceps, but we're using all dumbbells. I know some of you can't get to the gym, so, but you have mentioned you have dumbbells at home. It doesn't take a lot of dumbbells to do this workout. And even if you're not on lockdown or quarantine and you can get to a gym, this is still a phenomenal workout for your triceps. So this is uh, my version of a dumbbell only tricep workout. Follow along, I think you'll enjoy it. All right, so the first exercise we're gonna do is a kickback, but it's not a normal kickback. Normally you see kickbacks done like this. We're gonna do these pronated. That just means your palm is gonna be up as you flex. You're gonna keep your palm up. These have been one of my favorites for, I don't know, 10 years. If you look back at my old videos on this channel from like 2011, 10, somewhere around there, we used to do these. We used to actually do, we started a lot of our tricep workouts with these. So it really puts a lot of stress on the inner head of your tricep. The, that'd be the long head and the medial head down at the bottom. So we're gonna start with these. We're gonna go with about four sets of 10. Now, the nice thing about these two is you can actually fully lock out and it doesn't feel like it's gonna destroy your elbows. And normally what you see, what you see us do when we're training triceps as you see us use a rope push down or the spongy grips, you see some kind of push down to really get our elbows warmed up. So this is a nice exercise to get your elbows warmed up, get everything, the blood moving before we lead into the movements that are a little harder on your elbows. So this is a smart way to start your tricep workout as well. Those are uh, sneaky, sneaky. So four sets of 10 there. To get you started, you'll feel a pump starting really quick on these. Okay, set number four here. Again, don't be afraid to lock your arm out and flex. You're not gonna damage your elbows. And that gravity, the, the way the weight is aligned with gravity, man, puts a crazy contraction on your tricep. Okay, so second exercise is gonna be a, dumb, a dumbbell lying extension on the ground. I like to do these rest pause style. And a couple other things I want you to watch is when I lower the weight, I'm gonna to try to really stretch my tricep. I'll show you as I do it. And then as I extend my arm, I'm not coming back over my body, I'm going straight up. So I keep the tension on the tricep. Now the last exercise, I said lock them out. These you don't need to lock out. Keep the, go up to about three quarters, four fifths of the way, stop and come right back down. Okay, so something like this. So come down and stretch, see how close the dumbbell is on my shoulder. So I don't want you up here. That's not stretching your triceps. I want you here. This is what's going to stretch your triceps. And then remember, straight up, back down. Pause, up. You can even do these with a little bit of an explosive tempo if you want. It's kind of like a dead stop lying extension if I had to call it something. Ugh. Ugh. Oh. Oh. On this one, I want you to do three working sets, but before you do your working sets, I do want you to do a couple light sets just to get the form and to further warm up your elbows. I did two warm up sets with just 20 pound dumbbells. Um, normally I would go up to like 40, 40 pounds on this would be something pretty typical. Um, so two warm up sets and then three sets of anywhere between eight oh, to 12 man. reps is good. All right, our third exercise, I don't really know what to call it. I used to call them L extensions, uh, just because you're gonna take your arm down like this into an L shape. So we're gonna do these one arm at a time. I really like these, it's a unique angle that really hits your whole tricep. So watch carefully on this one. So start over here. Now you're gonna bring a, Dumbbell down, just like this. Okay, you don't need to come back this way. That way, if you come back that far, you're gonna put all the tension on your chest. So come up here, so you still have tension right there. Now you don't need to lock it out either. Four fifths of the way up, constant tension right there. It dig, really digs into that long head on the inside. Okay, other arm. Hello everybody, my name is Alexander Meadows and today I'm gonna to be doing this green triangle slack. So this is what it looks like.
And by the way, guys, I have an Instagram at MeadowsGang48. Make sure to go follow me there for more yo-yo tricks. All right, so we're on our last set here. Three sets of somewhere around 10, 12 reps. Should be all you need here. Okay, now we're on our last exercise and it's going to be a, dumb, a dumbbell overhead extension. Now, um, I put this last for a reason. These are really hard on your elbows if you're not warmed up. So we wanted to be really warmed up, really warmed up before we did these. I also would rather you do one arm. I feel like when you do two arms, more so for guys, you're so tight in your shoulder girdle, your shoulders feel really uncomfortable. It just doesn't feel real comfortable doing that. Um, in fact, if I was going to do that, I actually would prefer you do a rope so you're not in so tight so you can pull a rope up. But um, again, I would rather you do these with one arm so you can move it around so that your shoulder feels comfortable. Through the years, I've felt a couple pops in my shoulders doing these actually, so I wish I'd be real careful. So now we're going to work on the stretch. See where I got the dumbbell sitting back here? Maximum stretch, okay? Up, four-fifths of the way, just like this. And move the dumbbell in, a, in an angle to where your shoulder's comfortable. So you don't have to go this way or out. Just whatever feels natural for you is, is the angle you should be using. Good stretch, up three-fourths of the way. Okay. I like to grip the dumbbell closer to the end too, right here clear up at the top just to get a little better stretch. All right, so four sets here. We're on our fourth set now. Um, again, I don't know, somewhere around 10 reps. So eight, 10, 12, something like that. I could feel my shoulders are a little tighter. So I actually changed my ankle out a little bit just to relieve that. That's it for triceps. Um, most of the stuff you should really should be taking a failure for triceps like this. Again, it's not like uh, bent over rows or squats. It's not something that it's going to really pound your nervous system. So you can handle taking a little muscle to failure. It's no big deal. And you're not using super, super heavy weights, racking up the wear and tear on your joints either. So don't be afraid to take these to failure. That's it. Appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time.